Tony, this is Mill CNC's first time at Southern Manufacturing. Uh, a little bit of a different direction this year for the company. Yeah, well, obviously, Paul, you know, traditionally we tend to go to Mac and we do that in a big way. But uh, this year we're doing some more regional shows as well, really, to uh, generate leads and get, obviously, uh, a bit more PR and awareness of, of what Mill CNC is doing. Uh, the machine that you've chosen to exhibit here is the, uh, is the DVF 5000. Why was this model selected by Mills? I think certainly footprint was a, a real serious consideration in this. Um, but also, obviously, in the south, um, aerospace, technology, uh, it's a new model for us, or relatively new. It's only been in the UK market maybe about six months. So, um, so we just wanted to show technology, really, and uh, we just presume this, well, thought this was the best model to do it with. So it's a five-axis machine, and you talk about technology. Is, is, this, is this a premium machine, Tony? It is a premium machine, so we've had a doubt. Um, features on the machine like you know thermal compensation, scales on the INC axis, and then some of the other options that you can have, like auto work changer and uh, 120 tool ATC, 20,000 RPM. So it's a very much a premium model where we're aiming this. That auto work changer, that's becoming quite a common theme in, in, in industry, isn't it? Trying to get that unmanned run. Is, is, is this Doosan trying to, uh, is this Doosan's answer to that? It's productivity, everyone's trying to get more productivity out of the machine tools at the end of the day. Uh, as you'll see on the stand, maybe in a little while, we're also showing a, a new range of collaborative robots from Doosan. Um, but yeah, most of our machine models now are coming with automation systems, whether it's gantries, auto work changers, twin pallets, linear pallet systems. Um, it's about getting that you know, extra production out of your machine tool. Uh, this, this trunnion here as well on this 5-axis, by the way, it's a nice component you're machining on there. Um, just tell us about the, the makeup of this trunnion and why you believe this is a, uh, yeah, this lends itself to being a well-built machine. Well, th this trunnion has got the optional table support on it, which for, from a Mills uh, UK point of view, we believe that that should be a standard. Um, certainly uh, for that extra rigidity that people maybe want, by having that table support, then it gives you that extra rigidity for you drilling uh, and also for accuracy as well. Um, obviously, if you're doing lighter duty cuts, you don't have to have that. But because the majority of people that are going to purchase the machine is going to be general purpose, it gives you that greater flexibility with the work pieces that you can actually put on it. And you mentioned earlier scales earlier. This has scales on the A and C axis. Is that right? Yeah, it's, a, it's the two rotary axis, obviously. Obviously, you can have linear scales fitted to the other axis, but A and C, again, we deem as the two most important rotary axis, so they come with scales as standard. Now, obviously, this is a full five-axis simultaneous machine, correct? This particular model is a full five-axis. It's got the Hyde 9 IT and C 640 on it. We also do it in the Fanuc 31 IB5, which is five-axis simultaneous. You could have uh, either a Hyde 9 620 or a Fanuc 0i, to give you four plus one if you wanted to to lower the cost. I think one of the things that stands out for me is the accessibility of this machine. Yeah, well, obviously loading is very important. Uh, the aesthetics of being able to get in, load the components, uh, operate is very near the table. Uh, footprint of the machine is very small as well. Uh, again, uh, space is a premium. So, um, so, so yeah. Uh, this is going to be a good machine for Mill CNC. It already is. Um, we showed this at Mac as uh, really uh, where we showed the launch of it, but we hadn't actually got stock to sell then. Uh, stock has only started landing in the last two months and we've sold everything we've got so far. So uh, yeah, it's proven possible. We've sold into aerospace, we've sold into medical, uh, and today we've sold one into Scotland, which I presume is oil and gas related maybe. And 2018 was quite some year for Doosan as well, I believe. Uh, yeah, 2018 was uh, Doosan's best ever year. Uh, it was by far their best year in Europe. Um, they built in a region of 18,000 machine tools in 2018. So, uh, yeah, very much a successful year. And are they still continue, continuing to innovate and bring out new products? I mean, the range is just yeah. phenomenal, isn't it? Uh, it takes some keeping up with. You know, we're in the region of something like 370 models now, individual models within the Doosan range. Um, so they're constantly innovating. Uh, we're very fortunate to, to have that because we've always got something to go to market with and sell. We've got some other new products that we'll be launching this year as well. So, yeah, watch this space. Uh, Mill CNC has got to be one of the reasons that Doosan's been so successful around Europe as well, I would assume, is it? Yeah, without a doubt, we're a key dealer. We're their longest serving worldwide dealer. Uh, we're a technology partner of Doosan Machine Tools and uh, yeah, over a 30 year relationship.